Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pink. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about what many people are waiting for. What is Jerome Powell saying today in Jackson Hole uh, in his speech? How that will, you know, navigate the market? And this is uh, today on Friday, um, uh, 10 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, here in the time zone where I am in, in Hungary, uh, this is uh, 4 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, okay, the second thing I would like to talk about is that uh, miners, Ethereum miners, you know, have their eye on Ethereum Classic, and because of that, the hash rate of ETC hit new all-time high. And the third news is all about uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Eminem, and they're going to perform on the MTV Video Music Award from a Metaverse stage. Well, that's pretty interesting. So guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to get the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, simply subscribe to the YouTube channel Blockchain Bloom. Every single weekday, I bring them for you. And also hit the like button if you like this kind of content and definitely check out the links under this video because there are many useful ones. Right, let's have a look at the market where we can see right now that Bitcoin is about 2% down now. A bit uncertainty on the market, what Jerome Powell is going to say in a couple of hours time, basically. Um, the price is 21,243. Ethereum is 4% down, 1,634. When we're looking at the winners, Tata Fuel leading with about 8%, Synthetics going up 5 and XRP 3.5. Among the losers, the leader is Lido Dow with uh, about 8%, Chile 7%, and Flow with about 7%. And yes, when we're looking at here the candlestick chart, actually we can see here, uh, the four hour one. So uh, look at this. Well, basically side wave movements. When you're looking at this trend line, it's closely following this trend line. It hasn't broken yet, but if, you know, Jerome Powell is going in the direction that the Fed's going to be pretty serious about this whole thing and continue uh, interest rate uh, increase with big, big, big numbers. Uh, if that's the message, yes, we can visit lower numbers for sure. And by the way, let's talk about this now. Okay, so the first topic which I have already touched is all about the speech, you know, in Jackson Hole. This is an annual one and people are waiting for it. You know, it's it's 10 a.m. Eastern time. So about when I'm just making this video about uh, in two hours, um, and you know it's uh, in, in in Jackson Hole, uh, Wyoming, and um, it's very important uh, what he will say there because it will get a, give a direction uh, how the Fed is right now thinking about uh, the present situation. You know, it's not the usual one when they talk about the, the, the interest rates exactly, like we had in July and going to have in September. But uh, this one is also very important because since that, you know, we had the July uh, report and, you know, which came out in August and definitely the CPI numbers went down. So how are they reacting? Are they, you know, willing to continue aggressively with 75 basis points or something like this? Or they will be you know, um, doing a more mild uh, strategy. But to be honest with you, the majority thinks that they going to be continue hard because they would like to make sure that they stop inflation. Um, so definitely keep an eye on this. This is going to uh, move the market uh, and it depends what he's saying. That will uh, depend on the, uh, on the uh, uh, direction of the movement. I mean, that will, the, 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 the direction will depend on what he's saying. So that's what I meant. Okay, um, now let's move on to the next topic. The next topic is all about that Ethereum miners now, uh, you know, keep an eye on uh, Ethereum Classic for sure, because the hash rate of EDC went to all time high. Well, the merge is coming up, you know, uh, in a couple of weeks, you know, probably mid-September. So this is what they're saying. And uh, after that, 
problem for Ethereum miners. They cannot mine Ethereum anymore. So what you can do with your mining rig, probably find something else. So which is very similar for Ethereum, and it's an obvious choice for many miners who would like to continue and still stay in this game, moving to ETC, which is Ethereum Classic. And if you're uh, looking at uh, the, the statistics now, you can tell that the hash rate of ETC hits new all-time high. And this actually, the good side of it, reduced the risks of the 51% attack, which is very, very important uh, because you know many crypto analysts are concerned that it's vulnerable to the 51% attack where you know a single party or actually a group can take over control of the blockchain by handling the majority of transaction validations. So that's the problem, that's the attack. And you shouldn't forget about it, that basically ETC has been targeted such attacks before. You know, Bitcoin, never. But BTC, yes, back in 2019, in January, and actually in 2020, in August. So this, if more miners move there, and this increase the um, hash rate, will reduce the risk of this 51% attack, what many people are afraid of when they, you know, when it comes to, to, to ETC. So that's interesting, but, you know, uh, here you can see the, the, the increase, but of the hash rate, uh, which is, as you can see, kind of uh, significant. Um, but, you know, just the future will tell what's really going to happen after the merge, how many miners, you know, move to, for example, here, or people think about Kadena, but you know, the problem with the mining race, it's not something that you can switch so easily. So, well, there are many, many, many questions, but you know, in a couple of weeks time, we will see what's happening. And then, you know, time will tell uh, what the new positions for the miners will be. Okay, and now another topic, the MTV Video Music Awards is coming up and there is a new category and there is Snoop Dogg and Eminem who is going to perform from a metaverse stage. I remember when I was younger, I many times watched the MTV Video Music Award, but I'm not that young anymore. However, now I'm very curious about it, how this whole performance is going to look like, because, you know, uh, on Sunday, um, they will perform... Uh, you know, uh, on the other side's metaverse. And and this is something, definitely something new. Uh, they performed the D2, the LBC, you know, uh, that's the song. Uh, on the other side, metaverse uh, transform stage. Um, so how it will look like, I really don't know. And um, actually... To VMAs, uh, a new category was uh, added, and this is the best metaverse performance. Crazy, isn't it? But yes, this is now actually on the uh, MTV Video Music Awards, a new category, and you know the nominees. Among the nominees is Justin Bieber, Rift Tour, uh, featuring with Ariana Grande and Twenty One Pilots, as you can see. So. I'm very curious how this whole performance uh, going to look like, but we have to live with it that in the future, we will get more from metaverses. Now, look on the uh, VMAs. This is something, something definitely new. So, kind of interesting. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single weekday, I bring you the freshest. So, Monday, I back. Keep an eye on what uh, Jerome Powell is saying in the, uh, well, for me, the afternoon, but there, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern time. And because uh, this is the market mover probably for today, and uh, yes, let's continue on Monday. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. See you then. Bye-bye.